Y'all check out what Santa Claus brought me. I was good boy this year. We got us a Blackstone Press and Sear Burger Kit. It's got the, uh, the, the, the Burger Press, big wide spatula, and a season dredge. Now, we've made smash burgers before, you know, using uh, bacon presses or, you know, uh, spatulas or whatever. But I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be so much nicer. So uh, I say we make a couple smash burgers and let's try this thing out. But before we do, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, leave us a comment down below, and let's get to cooking. All right, let's open this thing up here and see what all we have in here. See what all we can dig out oh yeah y'all look at that now that's nice I like that got a nice lip there makes about the thickness of the hamburger you want you even got blackstone look at that the seasoned dredge you even got a cap on it I like that we get it off here in a minute there it is nice and tight keep the moisture out and here's what I'm really looking forward to Gives this big wide spatula, beveled edges. I like that. Get up onto that burger real easy like that. Yes, sir. That's gonna be nice there. Let's try these things out. What y'all say? Okay, we got the blackstone good and hot now. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna make two smash burgers. Let's go ahead and uh, get these on here. Spread them out a little bit. There we go. Now comes the fun part. Take some parchment paper, and take them, and just smash them down. Now from what I've done before is you just count about 10, roughly 10 seconds or so, get a good sear on that bottom of that burger. You pull it up. Oh man, I made a pretty burger, look at there. And just so you know, I'm not really counting to 10. I'm just holding it down for a little bit. I'm liking this press. I really am. Let's get you moved over just a little bit. All right, now I do not have any burger seasoning. Uh, so we're just going to use a little salt and pepper. So I don't have anything to put in the dredge yet. But y'all let me know in the comments down below what would be a good burger seasoning to use. Because uh, I really have never tried a good burger seasoning. But y'all let me know. All right, what we're going to do now is we're just going to put a little butter down right here. Because it don't take these long to cook up. We're just going to toast some few buns here. All right, these smash burgers, I mean, it don't take them long. They're ready to turn, and I'm really ready to try this out with these beveled edges to get up under that burger real good. Let's start back here on this one. Get on up under there. Oh, yeah, look at there. I'm liking that. Oh, yes. That. Blackstone, great job. That, that, I like that. That really got up under them burgers good. Did a perfect job getting that, that sear up off as you see. It's got the charred edges. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put our cheese on here. While they cook on the other side, we'll check these buns. See how they're toasting up. We'll use our big spatula for that. How's that? Wow, look at that toast is getting on there. Man, these tell you what, these gonna be good. Let that cheese melt down a little bit now. And we're gonna be ready to have us some smash burgers. Okay, cheese is melted down, burgers are done, bread's toasted. I have one more thing to do, and that's put these things together. So uh Let's go ahead and move stuff over here and we'll get to building these things. Now we're just going to do a basic smash burger on these. We're not going to do nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and get you 
Put you right there. Put you on top. Just do you the same way. There you go. Hey, one more thing. That's to crown these boogers. Look at that. Look at that juice coming out of there. Look at that. Look at that juice coming out of there. Look at that. You can't tell me that's not going to be good. You'd be lying to me if you did. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. And I ain't but one thing to do. Y'all look at them pretty burgers right there. Just look at that juice just coming out of them things. Now there's only one thing left to do now. And that's to eat these things. I'm going to tell you what though. Before I do. Got to give it to you Blackstone. This extra wide burger. Spatula with the beveled edges. This press, it's got the, you know, just, just perfect depth to make a great, great smash burger. I like the, uh, the, it's actually got a little bit of weight to it. I don't know what it weighs, but, you know, it's, it's actually got a little bit of weight to it. So let's press it down. So with that being said, let's try these things out. Well, I tell you what, when the food's ready, the kids show up. And that's okay. That's what they're here for, to eat, ain't it? You here to eat? Yep, he's here to eat. So you want to try this out? See how it is? Okay, you want this one? Oh, here you go. That's a big burger. Big burger. Can you eat that? All right, see what you can do with it. Take a bite. It's going to be hot, though. Be careful. Go ahead and bite into it and tell me what you think. I'm going to bite this one, okay? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, buddy. They good? Yep. They're big and messy too. I tell you what, you can taste the char because this spatula right here gets it all up with that beveled edge. I mean, I just, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Santa. Great present. Ain't you glad Santa Claus brought us this? Yep, we're going to make some supper tonight with this now. So I tell you what, Great job. I love this thing. Oh, didn't try to dredge out, but I'm sure it works good. It's just, you know, dump some seasoning on. Like I said earlier, let me know what's a good burger seasoning. Apparently salt and pepper is good. <laughs> uh, let me know down below what's a good burger seasoning. I don't, I've never really tried burger seasonings. Let me know. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. I do appreciate all my subscribers. You know, we just recently hit over 2,500. Thank each and every one of you for that. If you're not subscribed, be sure to get that done down below. And uh, anything else? Comment down, below. Comment down below again. Okay. And with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.